Hello, Eric Shepta coming at you. Now here I am sitting on the side of 441 Fort Street Northwest, Washington DC. This is the building from which a person would need to do early voting beginning on June 5th, leading up to the June 19th uh, DC primary. DC has early voting, which runs two weeks in advance. Uh, but anyway, um, I just spoke to Jeremiah Stanback, who was also running for mayor. He just happened to walk past me while I was shooting a video and I had to jump off and talk to him for a few minutes. Uh, he's a homeless candidate and uh, he's the guy I've been supporting. But I've entitled this video, But We All Love Muriel Bowser. Because let's face it, uh, she got 42,000 votes out of a possible 380,000 votes in the D.C. primary in 2014. Uh, because of low voter turnout and because of there having been many other candidates, uh, she actually was able to win with 11% of the vote in the primary that year. Uh, she got 88,000 votes in the, in the general election. But um, who knows? Even though the primary is our de facto election because every mayor has been a Democrat, uh, she might get 30,000 votes in the 2018 primary and still win. It's conceivable. But that said, there are at least 30,000 Washingtonians who love her. Uh, they got to experience her as a council member for seven years prior to voting her in as mayor. And uh, they might decide to give her a second term as mayor. I don't know. But you might also feel like even though she's done a decent job in your opinion, not mine, uh, that there, there are still some things that she could do better on. On that much, I'd agree with you that she can do better. And you may want to send her a message that she can and should do better. Well, here's one way that you can do that. You can vote her out during the primary and you can lavish your votes upon a single uh, alternative, Jeremiah Stanback, even if you don't think he'll make a great mayor. And if she, if she really is this powerful person that she purports to be, then what she'll do is she'll use some of that $2 million campaign war chest that she has to pay people to go out and collect signatures for her so she can run as an independent in, in the general election and she could win again as an independent this time. She would no longer be subservient to a party and uh, who knows, she, she might even be able to throw off the people in the business community who are pulling the strings from behind the scenes. And you might get her to work more for the people and less for the party and the behind the scenes rich criminals if you vote against her in the primary and then vote for her in the general election. Now some of you are saying, but if, we, if she loses the primary, she might not get enough signatures to run in the general election as an independent. Well, I don't think that's a problem, but it, even so, you could always write her in. So uh, you do have options. And so I would suggest that those of you who, who love Muriel Bowser would vote her out during the primary and then vote her in during the during the general election and possibly write her in. So, and that would force her to do a better job. So she'd win, but she'd have to bear in mind the message that was sent by you supporting Jeremiah stand back in the primary and then voting her back in during the general election. All right, so uh, that's my two cents for the day. Thank you.